Scientology was invented by... L. Ron Hubbard. ...who started out as a science fiction writer. He said, and I quote, writing for a penny a word is ridiculous. If a man really wanted to make a million dollars, he'd start his own religion. You know, people like you take that quote way out of context. Uh, people like me? Does that mean uh, non-believers or lawyers? Foot fetishes? Objection. Uh, Mr. Carnes, what's an engram? Uh, an engram is basically a psychic scar. It's the uh, origin of illness. And as I... It's, uh, life, according to Scientology, is all about ridding yourself of these uh, engrams. You do this by pursuing a path of enlightenment uh, known... Uh, help me out. The bridge to total freedom. And at each stage of the bridge, you are audited by a senior church member who hooks you up to some uh, electronic device. An electropsychometer. Is it painful? No. Ah. And after you go through all the stages, uh, you become an operating thetan, thetan, thetan. That's right. And OTs, as they're called, are said to be able to communicate with animals, move inanimate objects, leave their bodies at will. You hope to do that? One day. Are thetans immortal? It's been said. Well, in fact, uh, most Scientologists believe Brother Hubbard will return. And Christians believe Jesus will come again. Are they all nuts? Most. Scientologists also believe that uh, 75 million years ago, an evil galactic warlord, and here's where I can almost taste the maple syrup, uh, an evil warlord by the name of Xenu dumped 13 trillion aliens from different planets into the Earth's volcanoes and then vaporized them with H-bombs. You're familiar with this? Yes. And the radioactive souls of these poor, vaporized alien creatures continue to enter into our bodies, implanting engrams and false ideas about Christ and God and psychiatry. And that's why we have to purge ourselves of all of these engrams. Yes. And when one releases an engram, the erasure is often accompanied by yawns or tears, uh, sweat, odor, panting, urine, vomiting, and other extrata. You've heard this? Yes. So, basically, every time you piss, puke, or crap, uh, you're a step closer to immortality. Objection. <laughs> Getting closer as I speak. Objection. Come on. Freedom of religion means just that. Oh, please, it's a dumb freedom. An employee's behavior reflects on their employer, for God's sake. In this case, we're talking about a law firm, a business, in which clients look for good judgment, sound and sane counsel. This guy's running around saying man evolved from a big clam after galactic warlords invaded our volcanoes. He's a nut job. And I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little tired of this freedom of religion thing. When did religion get such a good name anyway? Be it the Crusades, the Reformation genocides, the troubles in Northern Ireland, the Middle East, mass slaughters supposedly in the name of Allah, and then of course the obligatory reciprocal retributions. Hundreds of millions of people have died in religious conflicts. Hitler did his business in the name of his creator. 9-11 was an act of religious extremism. It's our greatest threat today, a holy jihad. If we're not ready to strip religion of its sacred cow status, how about we at least scale back a little on the constitutional dogma exalting it as all get out? Your Honor, I would love to know what this has to do with my client being fired. Your client was fired because he entered into an at-will employment contract. He acted like a complete loon, and he now tries to cloak himself in a constitutional amendment that is as overplayed as it is misapplied. Everybody should get to believe in God. Pray to his God, worship his God, of course. But to impose him on others, to victimize others in his name, the founding fathers of this country set out to prevent persecution, not to license it. And for uh, Jerry Espenson struggling uh, with his law practice to make ends meet, don't tell me he's not victimized when one of his lawyers bounces around telling clients and other attorneys that according to his most recent electropsychometer reading, he's getting closer to immortality, at which point he'll be able to leave his body and talk to zebras. At a certain point, we have to say, enough with this freedom of religion crap. Yuck. 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 <laughs> Yes, I know. I'll get letters.